Welcome to this lesson on how to calculate percentage increase and there are two types of percentage increase problems. In this first one, increase 20 by 50%, it's a bit like having or increase $20 by 50%. So what's really happening here is that you are working out 50% of that $20 and if this represents the $20, then 50% of that is going to be half of that $20 and because you're increasing the $20 that means you're going to add that 50% right, which is the $10 to the $20 and you're going to end up with more than what you started with. So that was the original $20 and you know that 50% is one half and so a half of $20 is $10 so this part is $10 and when you add them together you get $30. So what are the steps for doing this? So the answer that you're after is the original 20 plus 50% of that 20. And then the hardest part really in this question is going to be working out the percentage of the original number. And I've chosen a nice easy percentage to illustrate the steps or to show you the steps. So 50% is 50 over 100. Any percentage is itself over 100 of means times and 20 is 20 over 1 and the next step would be 20 plus so multiplying these together tops together bottoms together 50 times 20 is 1000 and if you're not sure how to do that without a calculator 5 times 2 is 10 and then you add the two knots at the end and then on the bottom you'll have 100 and then a quick way of doing this because there are two knots there and two knots there what I'm really doing when I'm doing that is I'm dividing both numbers by 100 and I end up with 10 over 1 which is 10 and so the next step would be 20 plus 10 which equals the 30 that I showed you using the diagram. So the answer to the question is going to be $30. And another way of doing this, now you're always going to get 100 on the bottom here when you're doing this part of the calculation but you won't always get two zeros here. So if you end up with a whole number, then the decimal point starts here in the whole number because this is the units column. If it's a decimal, you just start at where the decimal point is and then move it two places to the left. And that would mean it would go here. And so when you're dividing by 100, that's what you're doing. You're moving that decimal point two places to the left in the top number. And so you'd end up with 10 and that would be the other way of doing this. Uh, that's one method of doing this calculation. Now there's a much quicker way of doing it, which I'll show you as well. And, and this is how you do it. So 20 is equal to 100% of 20. And then you're adding the 50% of 20. And in the next step, any number is 100% of itself. It's like all of itself. So you can write 20 as being 100% of 20 like that and plus 50% of 20 appears 100% of 20 plus 50% of 20 that's equal to 150% of 20 and now you just have to calculate that and you can do it in a similar way to this one so 150% is 150 over 100 times by 20 over 1 and then same as before, tops together, bottoms together. So 2 times 15 is 30, and then add the 2 noughts. And then 100 times 1 is 100. And again, you can just cross off the 2 noughts, and you'll end up with 30. And the other way of doing it again, just remembering that any whole number, that's the units column, and the point belongs here. And wherever the point is in this number on the top, you just move that two places to the left because you're dividing by 100 and then the answer to that again would equal 30. So the same answer that I got using the other method. And the other type of percentage increase problem is where you have an amount of something and that amount increases and you're working out what percentage that increase is of the original amount. So for example, you start with $20 and your friend gives you $5. What is the percentage increase in your money? So here's the $20 that you started with and the $5 that
that was given to you. So now you've got $25. And when the question asks, what is the percentage increase in your money? What it's really asking is, what percentage is that increase of what you originally had? In other words, what percentage is that $5 of the original $20? And that's a bit like a fraction. That's just saying, well, what fraction is $5 of $20? And that's your first step here. And it, what it really is, is the amount of the increase, so it's equal to 5, over what it was, and it was 20. So it's always the amount of increase over what the original amount was. And then to change that into a percentage, all you do is multiply it by 100%. And there are two ways of doing it. You can keep that a fraction and make this a fraction and multiply tops together. So 5 times 100 is 500 on the top and on the bottom 20 times 1 is 20 and then go that divided by that with or without a calculator and you will 2 cross off a 0 and a 0 and then how many 2's in 50 the answer is 25 and the answer is a percent because you've got this percent here that's the unit that you're measuring the number with in this question so it's a percent it's a percent and then it's a percent in the last step so the percentage increase in the amount of money that you have or had was 25%. Now the other way of doing that same calculation is to do a division here. So with a calculator it's 5 divided by 20 and you will get 0 0.25 when you do that and times that by 100% and when you're timesing any decimal number by 100, you're moving, going to move this point two places to the right, so it's going to be after the 5 in the whole number, so that would be 25 point and 0 if you like, and that would equal 25, or that does equal 25, and then percent. So remember, this is a percentage that you're working out. Now, if you don't have a calculator, how do you do that? as a division sum, a short division, or a long division. I prefer short division. And the number on the bottom always goes on the outside of the division. And then you put the top number there, and then a point, and then as many zeros as you need. Put a point above that point. And now, how many 20s in 5? There are none. And because you haven't used that 5, you carry it. How many 20s in 50? There's 2. And there's 10 left over. And then how many 20s in 100? There's 5 and there's none left over. So there's the 0 0.25 using short division. That's about it for this lesson. If you have any questions about this, leave a question or a comment and I will get back to you. And other than that, I'll see you in the next lesson.